hi everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to understand about what is the need of four quadrant operation in electric vehicles okay so basically if you take the drives so we have class a chopper class b chopper class c chopper class d chopper and class e chopper all these choppers operate in different different quadrants yeah? and how it is really useful to propel an electric vehicle whenever you try to draw this vi characteristics so i'm going to draw the x axis this x axis i'm taking it as a positive current and this i'm considering minus negative current and this is positive voltage and this is negative voltage if you consider this as output i can write down this as plus p not and minus p not so coming to here uh, this quadrant is nothing but first quadrant this is nothing but second quadrant this is nothing but third quadrant and this is nothing but fourth quadrant first quadrant is you consider the coordinates yeah? so here current i not is positive as v not is positive i can call this as forward motoring operation okay in first quadrant we have forward motoring operation let us assume that the motor is rotating now in clockwise direction so now whenever you rotate your whenever the motor is rotating in clockwise direction our electric vehicle which was acting like a motor will try to act like an generator and all let the wheel is rotating in which direction clockwise direction the wheel continue to rotate in clockwise direction and it exhibits a forward regenerative braking so we have a lot of videos in our channel to understand what is regenerative braking so here it was acting like a motor now the same motor is trying to act like an generator for example our motor is rotating in electric vehicle in this direction so we are by using an acceleration we are moving with a speed of 100 kilometers per hour so i have been removed the acceleration still the wheel try to rotate in the same direction which was acting like a motor will try to act like an generator and it operates in second quadrant in the second quadrant you can see here the current is negative i can take the current as minus i not and voltage is v not you can see here generally torque is directly proportional to flux into armature current so here i can take this current as positive torque i can take this current as negative torque the torque is negative exclusively possible only in the case of generation generator mode of operation so here the motor is rotating in clockwise direction and still the motor continues in the clockwise direction it acts like a generator and it exhibits a forward regenerative braking mode and here it acts like a generator so uh, if you want to operate in this quadrant we want to use a class a chopper if you want to operate in b quadrant we want to use a class b chopper this is all about a, uh, how a motor acts in first quadrant and how generator act in an second quadrant so this in electric vehicle we can move from quadrant 1 to quadrant 2 okay so we will be accelerating the vehicle with 100 km per hour and will remove the acceleration automatically it will try to move from quadrant 1 to quadrant 2 and once again if you start accelerating the vehicle it moves from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1 it acts like an motor so that's why it is very very important to understand the quadrant operation in an electric vehicle the third mode of operation is here you can see here voltage is directly proportional to speed so if you will compare like this here torque as well as speed are positive here torque is negative and speed is positive when you come to third quadrant so here it acts like an in reverse direction Okay. so here it is clockwise direction this is a counter clockwise direction we call this as a reverse motoring mode of operation so if you want to operate in first quadrant we want to use a class a chopper if you want to operate in second quadrant we need to use a class b chopper if you want to combinedly operate in first quadrant and second quadrant we want to use a class c chopper 
or if you want to operate in first quadrant as well as the fourth quadrant then we want to use class b chopper or if you want to operate in all the quadrants then we are supposed to use class e chopper that's why we have different choppers to operate from first quadrant to second quadrant second quadrant to first quadrant and one to four depending upon the type overall we will use class e chopper and you see here already forward is rotating in clockwise direction and the motor also continue in the same direction and it will generate the power this mode is called as a forward regenerating mode and here torque is negative current is negative voltage and speed are positive in reverse motoring the motor try to reverse so why this third quadrant is important this third quadrant is very important in an electric vehicle parking mode we want to park the electric vehicle somewhere else we want to take and we want to move backward so when you want to move backward we want to operate this motor in opposite direction so for example we may be traveling in forward direction like this okay but when you want to come back we want to use our legs in normal ic engine to come back but when you change the mode as an parking mode automatically the vehicle can come back in the same direction and you can park your electric vehicle so that's how it operates in third quadrant in third quadrant if you see the current so here current is minus i not and voltage is minus v not if we express this in terms of torque here torque is negative and speed is also negative so that's why this reverse motoring is very very useful for electric vehicle applications especially to park an electric vehicle or to move the vehicle backward side and to have the movement and this is the same still here we don't have this mode but just for time being you understanding so still it rotates in reverse direction in reverse direction also it will exhibit reverse regenerative braking so but this is not possible why because in the reverse it maximum travels with 20 kilometers per hour so with this speed regeneration is not possible so the maximum possible quadrants is from 1 to 2 2 to 1 and 3 to 2 2 to 1 so when you park the vehicle in reverse so you are traveling the vehicle forward direction like this and you want to park the vehicle at back you can come back this then it will be in which quadrant third quadrant from third it directly comes to first and from motoring it will come to generating mode like this it can toggle from quadrant 1 to quadrant 2 or quadrant 2 to quadrant 3 or it will move from quadrant 3 to 1 this is what the beauty of this quadrant operation so we can say that generally a quadrant is a single quadrant operation b chopper is a single quadrant operation c chopper is a two quadrant operation d chopper is a two quadrant operation as well as e chopper is a four quadrant operation this is what the beauty of an quadrant operation i mean the need of quadrant operation in an electric vehicle application very simple to understand so first mode mode of operation is forward motoring so in forward motoring it will try to operate in clockwise direction it still continues in the clockwise direction it will generate the power where we call this as a forward regenerative braking mode so a next possible mode is so when you change the current and voltage it will try to operate it will try to go backward direction which is called reverse motoring mode of operation so first it will operate like a motor the same direction they try to act like a generator if you try to move it it will come to third quadrant from third quadrant it will come to first quadrant which is like motoring so in the first in this first quadrant which was acting like an motor so the vehicle is running with 100 kilometers per hour when you remove the acceleration it will try to rotate in the same direction and it will try to act like an a generator which is called regenerative braking mode this is what the complete history or complete need of an chopper in an to operate in four quadrants that's how the four quadrant is very very important operation for an electric vehicle to move from one place to another place or to exhibit its modes of forward motoring forward regenerative braking as well as reverse motoring feel the, i feel the content is fully satisfied to you what is the need of quadrant operation in an electric vehicle application if you feel the video is useful to you please like share with your friends and give your valuable comments in the comment section if you are watching the channel for the first time please subscribe the channel 
such a way that this is a free channel useful for the students it should make you to understand the better concepts of uh, electric vehicle so we'll meet in the next video of the battery technology in unit number 4 thank you for watching